welcome to or welcome back to my channel um to my asmr channel but um instead of being in my desk my desk is right there instead of being in my desk i'm laying in bed sorry sitting in bed i'm not laying down but um same thing basically um but i feel like mainly this video is going to be about fishing stuff because I was sitting and I was realizing how good like fishing stuff sounds while I was fishing earlier. Um, but here's my fishing bag. It's very small, very compact. It's like the, um, it's a good size bag. It's maybe like 10 inches by seven. I don't know why I'm giving you the dimensions. But it's um, Okeechobee Fats. It's like 20 bucks at Walmart. Or no, Dick's. Dick's Sporting Goods. But um, oh. let me bring you a little bit lower. Yeah, wait. No, a little bit lower. <laughs> lower. Okay. And then turn you up. Turn you up, turn you down, turn you up, turn you down, turn you up, turn you down, turn you up. Okay, I think that's pretty good. This is, let's, let's not do the main pocket first. Let's do one of these smaller side pockets right here. And that pocket is nothing. Wow. That's off to a great start. OMG. And this pocket. I have snaps. Um, these are so you don't have to like keep tying your line over and over again um i used to use them a lot but recently i haven't because i don't know i just haven't but um um they're pretty good but i heard it scares away the fish because there's a little black thingy sticking out you know what I mean? Like, if I was a fish, and I was trying to eat something, and that little something had this little thing poking out of it, I wouldn't eat it, so I don't blame the fish. in this nice thick container. But they're just little metal thingies. Not very interesting. And then this is my um, fluorocarbon leader. Um, since I use braided line, braided line is very visible in the water. Um, so it might scare the fish away and so you add this on the end of your braided line so um this basically just disappears in the water i don't know how but um it disappears basically and um yeah it's called disappearing pink it's like right there um but Yeah. 
you don't need it if you're using braided line like on my spinning rod you can't see it but it's over there um on my spinning rod i don't have a leader on it this is a leader i don't have a leader on it um i don't know why i should kind of put one on but um I brought this on myself. If I wanted not to do it with one hand, I would have sat at my desk, but I, I didn't. Going on to this front pocket. First, we have this. This is called a buzz bait, and it's a Guggen buzz bait. It is a 38 ounce. Um, there's the hook. So what this does is that you can either use it in the water or on top of the water. Um, and then what happens is when it's going through the water, the water pushes this, and this thing spins. And it reflects light. So it looks like it's like a, a minnow or whatever, or a really small fish. But um, but, um like or if it sounds like anything at all next up it's not very safe putting your hand in a bag full of hooks that you don't know what's coming out next um this is a zinger or that's at least what guggen calls it this is also guggen that last one was guggen i'm a really big guggen fan um but this one has that on it that ow i just stabbed myself um that one also spins Spin. This one spins as no, it doesn't. Do this one doesn't spin. This one's um, doesn't spin. <laughs> um, but the hook is right there. So this one goes through the water um, like this, and then these spin while it's coming through, and it looks like one, one fish, two fish three fish and so um this is a bass lure so the bass will be like "Ooh, yummy three fish easy yum 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 and they'll he he'll come in and then he'll be like oh no that's not a fish and then you catch him i just want to clarify i am a catch and release fisherman i actually don't even like fish or any seafood for a matter of fact Oh, I got my, what happened? I got my blanket hooked. Okay. Um, this is the same thing as the, as this one, but just in a different color. And this one's a little bit bigger. It's a half ounce. Oh, why is it squeaking? That's not very good. But, um, yeah. Next, this one is my favorite out of all of them. Maybe my favorite lure of all time. This is a War Eagle. Oh, all those were Googans, by the way. Um, this is a War Eagle. Um, it's just so pretty. I I don't know. It's just so nice. There was actually so there you see this part right here. I don't know what these are called. 
but there was another one right here where my thumb is but I cut it off because it was silver and um, it just didn't I like the all gold look but um I've never caught a fish on this one but I've caught fish I've also I've caught a fish on this one but not this one or the other two I don't really use them that much I don't know why I don't know why I just don't but um I don't know why I smelled it um smelled like sea grass there's a screwdriver in here for some reason and a weight but that's it for this front pocket Next up, this big boy pocket. Um, where's. Oh. First up, <laughs> this is my scale. Um, what you do? is you press the button, wait for it to zero, and then you open this up, and then you put the this in the fish's mouth, and you clamp it down on their on their lips, like that, and then the fish will pull it down. <laughs> this is kind of hard to do. The fish will pull it down, and how much it pulls it down is how much it weighs. I just pulled it down to like 15 or whatever. Um, I never use it that much because the last few times I went fishing, I forgot it. And the one times I haven't forgot or I didn't forget it, I've caught um, either gar or pickerel. And you can't really use a... Um, I mean, you can use them on this, but it's kind of difficult. But there's other stuff. There's pounds... Uh, ounces, pounds and ounces, it's 26 degrees Celsius, or 78 degrees Fahrenheit, there's kilograms, and then back to pounds, um, I'm from the United States, so I use pounds, um, this is also Guggen. Turn it off, you just hold it down, and it turns off. Next up, I have my braided scissors. These have made an appearance before. I think in my first ever video. I don't think that's gonna sound very good, but um. some of my hair I think I got some I don't know though I can't right here oh. where is it <laughs> there you go what I 
whatever. I don't I don't care. I have a lot of hair. But these are my Why are my hands like that? <laughs> like an alien. Like braided scissors. Next up have my needle nose pliers. It's like an alligator. Um, these are all Guggen, like the brand. Um, they, they came in like a pack. feeling it that's a very aggressive sound but um if you see down here there's a little part that closes down and I use this to cut my floral carbon um, because if you use your scissors it'll dirty it'll dull your scissors really bad but um my needle nose pliers then we have my first tackle box and then we have my second tackle box oh and then we have a knife but I don't know if I'm like allowed to show this so we're not going to show it wait We're going to start off with my, um, so I have two tackle boxes. I have one that swims in the water, and then I have one that's the top water. Um, we're just going to start off. jerk baits I use these in uh, the winter and um, when it's cold out because the fish I don't know why but they like jerk baits in the winter this is my uh, crankbait it's a really small one um, 
I have those and then rooster tails real quickly. And then this is my chatterbait. I also use this in the winter. I hope that sounds like something. But um the uh this is the dangly thingy at the bottom, this thing. It's called a paddle tail. And the one I have is scented and um it's a very unique smell. Like I don't know how to describe it. It doesn't smell bad, but it doesn't ow. Ow, I just stabbed myself really bad with the hook. Ow, that hurt. Um Ow. Okay, I'm not bleeding. Um but it's a, it's a unique smell. It just, it just hit the mic. <laughs> I know that. I know for a fact that didn't sound good. Um, next up, we have this guy. <laughs> I just think he's cool because he has his little gold part right here. I think white and gold is a really nice fishing combination. I barely use him. Next up, these are my jigs, I want to say. I think that's the name of them. Um, this guy's a real small. one's Sarah, Sarah True, Sarah, Sarah Choose, Sarah Choose, but it's like C-H, Sarah Choose, Sarah Truce. I don't know, Sarah Truce in white, and this one's as uh, a shad colorway, which um doesn't really make sense because I don't have shad in the lake that I live on, so this uh, color is uh. It's not useless, but it's, um, the fish have definitely, definitely not seen it before. Um, and then this is, um, a billless crankbait. Um, these are Guggen. And then the eye's actually missing. Um, there was grass on my, on my lure, and I took it and I slammed it on the ground or on the water, and I guess the eye just fell out, I don't know, but, um, this is the, uh, crawfish color, and then this one, I actually caught two fish on this one today, two chain pickerel, um, this one is, I don't know what color this is, but it's a fish catching machine, boy. I will tell you that it catches fish and it catches a lot of them. Um, yeah. Oh, I almost forgot one. Wait. That's that's the sound they make through the water, and it attracts a bunch of fish. What the flip? My, my lore is being weird. What do we got? Okay. This is my mock swim bait. I love this thing so much, but it was like 25 bucks. And I'm so scared to lose it, so I barely use it. But, um. It looks so good in the water. It has a really good action. Okie dokie, I'm back. But, um. Yeah, I like this guy a lot. He's pretty cool. I want to buy more, but they're expensive. I'm gonna buy more. Hopefully, hopefully soon. I haven't gone to Dick's Sporting Goods in a while. That's all. No, they don't sell them at Dick's. They sell them at, uh. No, they sell them at Dick's. That's like the only place I know that sells them. Because Bass Pro doesn't sell them. Um. A bunch of, uh. 
local fishing shops don't sell them. Um, I don't know why. Anyways. water tackle box um this is called a mock patroller but it's best it's best known as a mock whopper plopper um because what happens is this stays on top of the water and then when you move it across the water this thing spins and makes a uh like a ploppy sound like this one and then I have a white one that's currently on my fishing rod right there I'll show you my fishing rod in a second or after this one but then I have this one it's a little bit bigger and it's a different brand this one's river 2c and I'm gonna be honest I don't like this one I don't know why it's just so much bulkier and like the plopping sound is crap it makes like a farting sound instead of a plopping sound. But um, and look how big the hooks are. Dude, you gotta catch a f almost swore. You gotta catch a behemoth fish to get the hooks around that thing. But I barely use that, that lure. Um, and it takes up a bunch of room in my tackle box. Look, it takes up one, two, three, three spaces compared to everything else either taking up one or two um, the hooks are being weird next up I have my goo it says eat me on the top because he's a frog and the fish eat him but he's made out of really thick rubber But um, he has a, this is called a skirt. Because it kind of looks like a skirt. Um, I have that white one. And then I have this one. Oh, this one. It's literally the exact same thing, but a different color. This color is called a uh, bullfrog, I believe. I've never, I don't, I don't know what a bullfrog is like so I don't know if this is like a realistic bullfrog or what but it also says eat me I barely use this one which I don't know why because there's literally big behind bullfrogs um, right next to where I fish so I go out on my dock and um, every night there is massive bullfrogs literally like the size of the palm of my hand they're ginormous they're so big and I should really use that more um this is called a plopper it's because it stays on top of the water and then once you move it this has, has like a cone for a mouth so it shoots water up um I don't use this guy a whole lot I don't know why when I'm using top waters, I'm mainly using this guy and then the guy that's currently on my fishing rod. Um, I caught my biggest gar on the one that's currently on my fishing rod. So, like, I know it catches fish. I'll show up a photo right now. Yeah, that gar, that gar was pretty cool, huh? <laughs> um, it was crazy. Biggest fish I've ever caught, I want to say. And then, oh no, jump scare warning. Spider, woo, spider, spider. Um, it's a black widow, as you can see with the little hourglass on the abdomen. Um, I've never used this guy. He's really um, 
light weight, so you can't cast him very far. He's more of like a gag than an actual uh, lore. I think my grandpa got him for me as like a gift for my birthday. Um, that's actually it. I didn't expect it to take that short amount of time. And then there's nothing in there. Okay. Time for my fishing rod. This is the thing. This right here is what the person was the lure I was talking about that caught me that really big fish. This is a lose speed stick. Um, it is a six foot ten uh, medium power fast action. Um, I'm thinking about getting a Guggen, Guggen, a Guggen gold rod. Um, just because I'm a really big fan of Guggen, and it would look really good with the reel I got on. But um, yeah. It's a uh, six foot ten inches long. Can't even fit it in the frame. It's so big. It's st it's still going. It's st it's still it's still going. It's still going. It's it's still going. There's the tip right there. Um, the rod I plan on getting is like seven foot three. It's even bigger than this one. But um, right there is the hook keeper. It's a little, little circle. Sorry if you heard that sound. The rod moved on my on my bed frame. My bed frame is metal. It's right here. My bed frame is metal, so it uh, makes like a really annoying ringing sound. But um. I'm going to take the reel off my rod. Wait, this thing's going to go there. This is a Shimano Corrado DC. Um, very nice rod. I actually bought it not too long ago. Um, the uh, line I use is braid it's a 30 pound braid I don't know what the brand is I forgot um, but that sounds pretty cool um, It is a seven four to one gear ratio, meaning that um, the spool on the inside spins. So it'd be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then point four. So it'd be like right here. So it spins seven point four times per rotation of the this thing so say my I start right here since I only spun it once this spun 7.4 times it's hard to explain kind of but I think I did a pretty good job um, I don't know I'm pretty bad at explaining things but um yeah I don't know there's even higher ones I know there's an 8.5 and I think I saw a 9.6 one time, but I don't know. I might have been dreaming. But, um, yeah. I'm just reeling out the line and reeling it back in. Oh. Um, yeah, but
but I think this reel is so pretty. It's just so good looking. All this is metal, and I like how there's like this is like a silver metal, and then this is a dark green, and then this is gold. It just looks so nice. I'm such a such a fan of it. And so there's three settings right here. Normally most rods, they have a little dial right here that you can turn and there's 10, 10 of them most of the time. Sometimes there are eight, sometimes there's five, but uh, most of the times there's 10 and it sets the brakes, but this thing, the brakes are um, in a computer, so there is no brakes. And there's four settings. One is no brakes at all. There is brakes. It's just like this is like telling the computer how much brakes you want. One is no brakes at all. Two is for braid. So it sets the amount of brakes that you would have for braid. And then three is for fluorocarbon and monofilament. And four is like the max amount of brakes. Like this is what you would do if like you're casting into wind or like um pitching or whatever. This is now on open. I'm nervous. I've never opened this thing before. And frankly, I don't, I don't know how to. I'm scared. I'm closing it. <laughs> um, I don't even think I got it open. Oh wait, this might sound good. It doesn't sound like anything. I was trying to scratch it. Oh, wait. A lot harder than you think. <laughs> um, oh, wait. I forgot about the brake system or the drag. So this is the drag system right here. And drag is the amount of force or the amount of yeah force that you need to pull line off of the spool okay so big offshore fishing guys they have hundreds of pounds of drag okay since mine's just a freshwater one i have only 11 pounds which i will say is a lot less than i want it to be um my old rod had 30 pounds of drag, and when I caught that big um, gar I showed you earlier, when I caught him, just lot drag was or my line was just getting pulled off. Like it was, it was, it was a lot of. I needed a big thing of drag for that. But um, when I caught those two small pickerel earlier today, um. Even even drag was getting pulled in, and I know that this is a bass rod, and it's only meant for catching bass. But not only bass are in lakes. There's other fish, and I don't I don't know, but I guess I guess you can't have everything. If this thing maybe had like 40 pounds of drag, it would literally be the greatest fishing reel of all time. Sorry, the greatest bait casting reel of all time. That's, a, that's under a million dollars. <laughs> That'd be a pretty expensive. But you know what? At least the drag sounds good. Um, yeah, like I'm literally, I'm literally pulling drag right there. And that's at the max setting. Like it's not hard to do. It's only 11 pounds, so that's kind of suck. Like on my other fishing rod, sorry, my other fishing reel, um, I couldn't even pull it. And if I did pull it, it would hurt my hand. Anyways, that's um, 
that's it. Um, I don't know what the title of this video should be yet. Um, I don't know. I don't have any ideas. Because I don't want it to be ASMR for people that enjoy fishing. Because that's such a, a little group of people. I want it to... I want it to be more mainstream, you know? Um, and I still have to do the... Uh, the thumbnail for this video. Maybe it'll be ASMR going through my tackle box or something. I don't know. ASMR, all my fishing equipment. That's pretty good. I like that. Um, but yeah, now I'm going to make the... Uh, 